Our next guest has been fighting for gay rights for decades. He's also one of the parade's grand marshals. Salah Bashir joins us in studio. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You are being honored as one of the parade's marshals for the second time this right. year. How does that feel? Left for punishment, probably. <laughs> Um, it's great. feels great. I mean, we have a float. I think I'm one of the only Grand Marshals that has their own float each time, and we have a great float with, with all members of the community, and we'll have about 77 people marching in front of the float, holding signs of all the victims from Orlando, wearing Arab robes, and the whole float is a dedication to Arab rights in the Middle East and gay rights everywhere. Orlando is Orlando. going to touch... I would think the mood of of this year's march, right. uh, and you've chosen a very personal way to uh, to recognize it. What do you what impact do you think that'll have on the mood of of what's going to happen later today? I think the parade's always had a political tinge to it, and it's great to remember those and to also celebrate at the same time. So I think it'll be like a double whammy in that way, and there'll there'll be a heavy mood over the parade, but there'll be a lot of celebration as well. So. And, and in your own float, you've got the double political whammy there, too. Yes. Why the choice of Arab robes? I'm Arab. Um, I'm gay. I, you know, I, I think it's just a celebration that there's so much non-stereotypical things happening in the world. Sometimes people look at Islamic jihadists and paint all Arab people with it. And I just wanted to show something a little differently. Pride as well had an Arabian night last night with a group from Lebanon who has a lead singer who's gay and who's been banned in a couple countries. So it was great to add both together and to march in the parade that way. And I'm sure the world will be watching what happens in Toronto today. It is such a massive gathering. What message would you want to send to, uh, to say, someone in an Arab country who is gay and, uh, and, and perhaps not feeling welcome in their own home? There is hope. There's a lot of hope, and I think you know, to the whole world, gay rights are, you know, human rights. They're not something special. They're not uh, anything more than that. And to be, a, there is a lot of hope, and things can happen everywhere. I mean, we have gay marriage here. We have gay marriage in the states. We never thought that would happen. We have a prime minister marching in the parade. You know. What do you think of that? I think it's amazing. It's great. Um, if I was going to get political, I would say, well, at the same time. Maybe they shouldn't have sold $15 billion worth of arms to Saudi Arabia. But I think it's great he's marching in the parade. You'll have a chance, actually, perhaps, to, to chat with him today as one of the parade marshals. I won't, actually. You won't? <laughs> I only said I would, need, I would only see him if I have something I need from him. Okay, today. well, I thought you might need to pass on that message. But well, I think you've just passed it on. He's at the church service, and we have a brunch, and then we'll be in the parade. But I admire what he's been doing. I admire the whole government, and it's a refreshment from what we've had, and uh, I hope they actually keep going on the track of human rights that they're talking about. Yeah, and he's not the only politician marching today as well. We've got Kathleen Wynne, we've right. got John Tory as well. Uh, do you think that's a sign of, of progress? Even Rona Ambrose is walking the parade. It is a sign of progress. I think John Tory and Kathleen Wynne have been there before. I mean, Jack Layton has always been there, Olivia Chow, different people. So there is a whole spectrum, not just one political party there. So the, the first time that you were Grand Marshal, one of the Grand Marshals was 2005. Right. Uh, 11 years passed, we've seen some changes. What would you like to see for the next 11 years? Everything. <laughs> I, I mean, trans rights are the big thing right now. And there's also a lot of, I mean, small towns that uh, still don't have the same kind of uh, things in Toronto. There's still people being beaten up and there it, it's still a long way to go and hopefully we'll get there thank you so much for taking time on this busy day to join us thank you for having me have fun thank you and happy pride to everyone happy pride to you thank you salah bashir is one of the grand marshals of this afternoon's pride parade in toronto